This is a free lesson from my course Workflow of Modern Web Design from Sketching to Style Guides. Now we are going to start our mobile view of our design. We have already created the desktop and tablet views. But before creating another artboard, we are going to set up our grids and guides. Uh, to do that, we are going to switch to our uh, Google Chrome and we are going to use some online tools. So let's see what are those. Okay, so as always, we are going to use this modulargrid.org gridulator and this time I'm also going to show you how you can do it with this grid.guide. Okay, now the width I'm going to use is 400. Okay, so 400 pixels. This is, uh, I think, uh, I love to design for this. If you really want to go the last screen size, you should design for this one, okay, 320. And we are going to use columns, number of columns four. So I am going to use 400, not 4000, 400. And your gutter ratio should be one, okay. So this is the tool. This is another tool. Okay, now uh, what I am going to look for is I am going to look for my eight pixel grid. So this is gutter width eight. We can use this one or maybe we can use this one, okay? So I'm going to use this one, column width 80 and gutter width is going to be 16. Also our, you can see on the right and left sides there is some margin which is also equal to 16, okay? Now if you build your grid with gridulator, you need to subtract margins from it, okay? So 368 and uh, you can see over here, here we have the calculation 80 and 16. Now, if we go to this modular grid, because we are going to use this, these lines too. So we are going to use baseline, which is always our eight pixels, which is this eight pixel high height of this uh, small space over here. And then we have module size 80, number of modules four. We have four columns. Gutter size is going to be 16, module height one, and our layout size is 368. So basically we are leaving 16 and 16, 32 pixels for, uh, the margins okay so we are going to download this photoshop pattern and install it in this photoshop adobe photoshop installation presets and pattern folder okay so i have named it 416 margin 16 gutter so i'm going to load it in photoshop and we are going to set up our artboard after that okay so let's get started now let's duplicate our tablet artboard i am going to right click my tablet and duplicate artboard and i'm going to name it mobile Okay, so I have my another artboard. Now we are going to size it and we are going to use 400 pixel width and for the height, I think we are going to use, we are going to need more than 6400 because it is going to stack on uh, top of each other. So we need a lot of space to adjust this content. Okay, now let's set up our grid. Okay, so we are going to go to this grid area and we are going to unlock this and we are going to go to patterns and let's load our pattern which is 400 append it it will be at the end if you hover over it for some time you are going to see the name you can see 96 by 16 pixels so this is our uh, grid okay uh, so we are going to again resize it to the width of 368 okay so that was our, so I'm going to align it in the middle. It is uh, not uh, well, so we are going to snap to origin and it is going to change everything, okay? So this is how we are going to set up our grid and uh, in the next lesson, we are going to change our design for this mobile view. So let's move on to the next lesson. If you want to learn a pro level process of responsive web design using design frameworks like Atomic Design and 8 Point Grid System, and if you want to learn about wireframing, how to gather project information, ideation techniques, mood boards, style guides and prototyping, all these advanced web design topics, then you should take this course. Discount coupon link for this course is in the description of this video. Get this course now for only $10. Okay. And don't miss this opportunity.